Tonight, it's all about the old classics. These are all the delicious classics that you cannot easily get at home, or at least you can get in the West, but not to this authenticity. Wild boar satay. Oh my God, yum. This is popia. You know how many popia I ate when I was in Singapore. Century egg. Yum. Now we're onto the curry meat. This is what we all back in Australia know as curry laksa. We've been here, remember? Long time ago. But the, the shops are still the same. Uh. The same. The same. Variety? Yes. Variety. I mean, classic stuff. Boba. Yeah. And then you can chop it out. Tap out. Tap it out. Maybe something else as well. Nah. Nah. Oh, Hokkien Mia? Ah, Uh, okay. okay. Small. Small. Yeah, we can try. I saw Karimi. Chi ai? Ni hu mi a? Ah, jiao go ho. Lao ting ha. Lao ting ha. Ni jiao go ho. Chu wei hao a wo. Oh, Okay, we get a We go first, lah. Okay. Go first, then you, you can sit there, wait, lah. There, wait. Quite sad. That is exclusively Marks. Now I'm absolutely famished and we're just waiting for um, Chen Wei to come back so we can eat this. But we have Hokkien Mee, we have Curry Mee, we have a mix of Loba, 
we have Ochen, we have Popia, and we have Moi. I feel so sorry for Mark. Anyway, so we've got Hokkien Mee, which we've already eaten the other day at the Eastern at the Yi Original Kopitiam. I can't remember. And then we've got Curry Mee, which is probably the curry laksa that most of you Western viewers are familiar with. And then we've got Boba, which is just a mix of delicious fritters and meats that being battered and deep fried and then you dip it into the raw, which is the thick gravy. And then you dip it into the chili sauce. It's a mix of prawn fritters, sausage, century egg, tofu, tempeh. Tonight, it's all about the old classics. Now, we haven't been back to Malaysia in years and this is exactly why we are here. These are all the delicious classics that you cannot easily get at home or at least you can get in the West, but not to this authenticity. And there's also Bo Jian, which is fried oyster omelette. I'm so excited for this. We're here at New Lane Food Center and there are three Chako Tiao stalls. So, Chen Wei actually ordered one, so we're gonna see if it's any good. And if it's any good, we're gonna tap out, we're gonna take away from mum. Okay, look at this. I love it. The sizes are so accessible. It means that you can try many, many dishes because they aren't excessively large. Ooh, it's so fresh, so hot. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. You can taste the wok, hey. You can taste the breath of, of the wok. Nice big plump shrimp, prawns. Mmm. Lots of tau gear. I'm trying to look to see for the sea how I'm looking for the clams. I can't see the Chinese sausage or the lap jong. Lots of really tasty egg. Mmm. Wild boar satay. Oh my god, yum. When you think wild boar, you think tough. And whilst that was, took a little bit of chew, it wasn't tough. I wanted to savor every lustrous, gamey flavor out of that wild boar. It was surprisingly tender. I was expecting it to be so chewy, leathery almost, but no, it was fantastic. Boar satay, wild boar satay is delicious. This is popia. You know how many popia I ate when I was in Singapore because it is delicious. It's such a healthy, delicious, quick snack. Oh, okay, here we go. Mm. Ah, nah. Look at that. This is dragon fruit. Oh. Oh my god, Leanne would be so jealous. This is delicious. That is 650 ringgit. The number of rang foods would have to go into this. It's insane. Onto the law bar. Look at that. I chose a prawn fritter, dipped it into the law, the, the gravy and the chili. Oh my god. Why do we not have this in Australia? Anything golden, deep fried. It's just delicious. Sausage. We've got the fried tofu. Like I said, you can make anything taste amazing once you deep fry it. Mm. Century egg. Yum. Mm. It's the blue cheese of egg. If you love blue cheese, rich blue cheese, you'll love century egg. Oh, Jen, the oyster omelette. Like I've said in the past, I'm not a huge fan of oysters, but I love oh, Jen. Okay, Dunk it into that chili sauce. Mm. Mm. 
the oysters are on the smaller side here but full of oyster flavor I know it's sacrilegious to cook oysters especially with Aussie oysters but when you've got something that's delicious I'll cook them too okay this is Hokkien Mee is what we ate at the Eastern the other day rich spicy full of flavor I love the use of the rice noodles the Hokkien noodles there's prawns that's pork there's little fried shallots mm. now we're on to the curry mee this is what we all back in Australia know as curry laksa and there's pig blood in here as well my favorite as a kid I didn't like it as an adult I love it mm. so oily and rich the pig blood actually it's almost like tofu it doesn't have that iodine flavor but it's got that really nice tofu texture being curd is so good it absorbs all that curry sauce that rich coconut spicy curry sauce amazing okay, okay. yeah i know the cars are very fancy that here. For that's quite nice yes yeah, it's probably a very expensive blender Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Porter. Hey, it's just us. Mm -hmm. There you go. Have they gone back? Yes, yes, they have. Oh, and also, 